Hello, everybody, and welcome to Coach on the Couch. I'm your host, Jason Zaleski, and 2019 spring sports are here, and that means we are talking to coaches from all over central Wisconsin, and today on the couch is uh, Coach Lindner, Marshfield Tiger, uh, Steve Lindner. I, I keep wanting to call you Lucky, but uh, <laughs> whatever works, right? That's my nickname, yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but, Coach, uh, thanks for coming on the show. We appreciate it. We're going to le learn a little bit about you and a lot about Marshfield Tiger uh, girls' soccer program. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Great. You got it. So first, uh, let's just start. We'll kind of reset the audience. How many years have you been coaching, and then what keeps you coming back? Well, I've been with the program for 12 years, nine years as the head coach, and I assisted three years before that with Brad Carroll two years ago, and um, I've been just having a great time. And if it wasn't so much fun and enjoyment and, and teaching and mentoring um, young people, I wouldn't be here, but it's been uh, very rewarding for for myself as well. Yeah, and you talked about uh, Coach Malter. He's holding down the shop uh, back at, at the field right now. you got, got a great group of uh, other coaches with you this year as well. Yes, absolutely. Jeff Malter has been assisting and basically a co-coach um, with us for 10 years now. So he's been helping out with the program at varsity level. And uh, Jenna Beek does our goalie. So she's been with us a number of years. And then Steve McCann heads up the junior varsity mm -hmm. program. And he's also the boys varsity coach. Right. So we've got a great group of coaches that really help the program. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, let's uh, just kind of reset here a little bit more. We'll talk about last year a little bit. Um, just uh, remind the audience how, how last year finished and then just some of your favorite memories and moments from 2018. Well, last year we started out slow. We had a lot of young players. In fact, we had five freshmen that saw significant mm -hmm. playing time. And with five freshmen and only two seniors that were playing last year, you know, we were very young. So we started out slow and and started building momentum and gaining confidence midway through the year. And, and actually, at the end of the year, we won regionals. So we had some mm -hmm. very good success at the end of the year and, and lost at the last year in the sectional semifinal, two to one, that a game that we could have won. So um, hopefully we can build off of that momentum that we had from last year. Yeah, okay. And let's talk about that a little bit. Uh, you know, in high school sports, um, you know, uh, recruiting is not the right word, but, you know, you want to be able to get involved uh, with some of these girls at a little bit uh, younger age, kind of, you know, figure out what's going on and, and know what you got kind of coming down the pipe. So I guess just tell us how that works. How do you, you know, at, at what point do you get involved uh, with the girls as they're coming up through elementary and, and middle school? Well, we run the camp in the summer, mm -hmm. so we get to see a lot of the younger kids there, and um, we're in constant contact with uh, middle school coaches. So, in fact, we were just talking with one of the middle school coaches yesterday who said they had 28 girls at 7th and 8th grade for this year. So the numbers are good down there, and if they um, continue on in the high school, you know, we'll continue to have good numbers so we can have a good selection process. Yeah, and, um, and, and before we talk about this coming season, let's talk about what some of the, the kids in the community should do during the summer uh, to get better, uh, things that activities that they should belong in. And, of course, they should belong in the summer soccer program. Um, when they're out there with those coaches, you know, you're in eighth grade now, you're going to be a freshman in high school uh, next year. Uh, what are some of those things you should be working on and, and goals you should have during the, during the summer as you get ready for high school soccer next year? I think conditioning is, is number one, making sure they're in condition and playing some summer soccer. They play summer soccer, um, wonderful. It's a, it's a huge advantage to get some touches on the ball. Um, but if they're not doing soccer and they've got other sports, um, you know, a two and three athlete, sport athlete, is is great to have as well so if they're doing something and then they come out at least they're in some conditioning they're they're used to working with coaches and usually they can step right in yeah so those those winter sport summer uh, winter sport student athletes uh are already got their conditioning probably under their belt and they're all set to go for you anyway yes yeah good all right well let's talk about this year a little bit maybe let's start at the at the top of the the grand scheme of things of course marshfield senior high participates in the Wisconsin Valley Conference. Uh, we saw you against a Valley uh, opponent last week. Um, what, uh, what's it going to take for the girls? Uh, you know, conference titles, uh, you know, probably a goal somewhere in there, whether it's said out loud or everybody just kind of knows what they, what they should know. Um, what's it going to take uh, to, uh, to challenge for a, a, a Valley title? I think the, the just gaining confidence, playing with the Spashers, the D.C. Everett's, you know, the two powers in the Wisconsin Valley for girls. And they're at the, the, the height of the mountain that we want to get to. And, and we played Spash last week, like you alluded to, mm -hmm. and lost 4-1. to one. And two goals are very correctable um, that we had given up. Mm -hmm. So I really believe we're right there. And 
you know, we've got a great mix of kids, and the more they play, the more confidence they gain. I think that we're going to be in the mix this year and uh, going forward. Now, uh, I'm going to roll a highlight here as I'm talking about this one, so uh, just trust me that, that that's <laughs> happening here as, as we're talking. Uh, Sophia Grunling in that game uh, had, had a wicked corner kick. Now, she kicked it into the wind. You, may, you had a uh, different view of it than I did. Um, how much of that was, was planned? How much of that was wind? And what was your view of that goal uh, from, the, from the bench? Sophia is a freshman with mm -hmm. unlimited potential. Yeah. Um, we need to rein her in and get her in control with you know, our, our way of, of playing soccer. But she just is 100%. She's running like crazy. And she had a great kick on that corner. She's got mm -hmm. strong legs. Mm -hmm. you know, she contains that, which she did. And she made, you know, a great cross, and the cross was hooked right that way anyway. So mm -hmm. it, it was a perfect kick, but the win situation was an awesome goal. Yeah, it, it, it was. It was. Uh, it was one that, that stood out in my mind, uh, and and it was it was unexpected actually. As you're watching the highlights back, it was so unexpected. We were actually focusing more on the cross <laughs> than than that far that opposite side of the uh, of the goal, and we caught it going in just at, at the last moment. But uh, that was a, a, a big highlight of that game uh, for sure. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's kind of zero in here. I'll, I'll bring up my roster. I, I know you got your roster here. Uh, let's kind of zero in on, on some of those seniors. Uh, see if I can get all the names right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Renee Z, uh, Brooke Mikulski, uh, Sierra Peterson, Nicole Simon, Eva Wallstrom, uh, Jenna Asplin, and uh, Ali ba uh, Baki. Um, th that's that, that's your those are your seniors. That's that's what you got uh, er every game, every practice. Uh, what kind of um, what kind of uh, importance uh, do the seniors carry, and what expectations do you have for those girls um, when it's not game day and on game day? Well, I think the, the leadership, and Nicole Simon and Eva Wallstrom are two of our captains, and they, they're very vocal leaders. Some of the other seniors that are not captains um, are always there, and they're always given 110%. They're working hard. They have really improved their skills, and two of them – um, Ali Baki and Brooke Mikulski um, have really stood out so far this year and are gaining more and more minutes with their, their playing time and just giving 100%. So it, it's great to see some of those seniors really turn in the corner, play with more confidence, and they're out there really contributing to the team. Yeah, and uh, no soccer team is complete without, uh, without somebody minding the net. Uh, and you got a couple of those uh, girls back there, uh, Sierra Aller, a sophomore, and then Michaela Brigham, a, a junior. We saw Michaela play. Uh, the other night uh, looked pretty solid. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot going on out there, but it looked pretty solid overall. Um, how, how do you grade your, your goalkeepers coming into the season? Um, they both have some good strengths. You know, Michaela Brigham played all the games last year. She mm -hmm. was on varsity last year. Our senior goalie got hurt last season, and Michaela stepped in, played all the games. Clara came up to varsity midway through, and then she sustained an injury, but she was on the roster for um, a number of games, and saw a little bit of action, but um, not enough to really give her the confidence that we got down in Urbana earlier this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, and then, um, you know, as, as the season starts to unfold, you know, kind of project out a, a, a few weeks, uh, people go to the games. Uh, who are some of the other girls that they should be looking out for, or some that maybe you want to call out as uh, kind of some up-and-comers for well, 2019? I'm going to start with the defense, you yeah, know, because right. everyone starts with the offense, and, yeah. and Anna Poppy is mm, our deep mm -hmm. sweeper. She's a first-team mm -hmm. all-conference from last year. Um, she possesses great speed, great foot control. Um, she's really a steady force in the back. So, yeah. you know, she's one that is really steady on the defensive end. And then we've got Cassidy Colstead back there and Paige Grunling, mm -hmm. Sophia's older sister, um, that's back there, along with um, Allie Dukes, another one that's in the rotation. And then up at midfield, we've got Courtney Meyer, mm -hmm. who has some great crosses and led us in assists last year with six of them. So Courtney's a strong player. She gained a lot of confidence last year playing every game as a freshman. Mm. And now as a sophomore has really blossomed and feels that confidence and, and really is a fighter out there. Mm -hmm. So her and Sophia are, are playing well at the midfield. And then you get up top, of course, and you've got our scores. Nina Hashimoto, uh, first team all-conference last year. She had 19 goals for us. Mm -hmm. And then um, Kate Schilling also is up on top and a natural scorer. She had six goals as a freshman and, you know, high expectations of both of these two young ladies up on top. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it, 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 again, we, we went out and covered the game live. Uh, as a reminder, live streams can be found at ZalewskiSportsShow.com. 
just click on live sports. Uh, but yeah, an electric group out there for sure. Um, and uh, you know, we're at the beginning points of the season now. Uh, oftentimes, the season, uh, a, a team finishes a lot better or a lot different than how they started. Um, so what uh, what do you think you know, for uh, you know you got a good mix here you got some seniors you got some underclassmen you got a good mix of everybody and starters you got a good mix of grade levels uh, with your starters um, what is uh, what's uh, what's what's the best what's the the ceiling for this team in 2019? Well, I think that you know unlimited potential. We played our uh, first tournament down in Ur Urbana earlier in the year. We had not been outside except for a day and a half out in the mud. Mm -hmm. And um, went down to Urbana, played our first game, and we did not look like a very quality team. And it was due to the fact that we hadn't been outside. We just had to work out some of the kinks. Game two was night and day difference. We had played extremely well. We won that game six to nothing and um, really looked like we did last year. We passed well. We possessed the ball real well. And, and that's what really we're, we're striving to do is continually improve and make every possession, every um, time you touch the ball, something positive comes out of uh, your play. Yeah, all right. Um, we're going to ask you a little bit of a sports one-on-one -on -one type of question, and then we'll get you out of here. Coach, got to get back to practice. Um, you know, and it, with the weather, uh, you got to get you got to get in practice, got to get in games uh, while you can. And it looks like we should be in the clear from this point forward, especially for, for you and your girls. Um, but people should go out to, to these games. Your home games are played at Greasy Park in Marshfield, uh, and then road games are scheduled out there uh, at the Marshfield High School calendar. Uh, get out and support these girls when people are watching in person or they're watching the live stream. A lot of coaches talk about midfield play and keeping your shape and all those things. Give us a basic lesson on what it means to keep your shape in the midfield. It's, it's the basics that we teach our girls, and it's just passing, spacing, and trapping. And in the center, you know, the midfielders are so important, and we really want them to be able to run both ends, you know, nonstop help out on offense, help out on defense, and just spread out. So the center midfielder is a very um, challenging and very demanding position. Nicole Simon and Paige Preston are fantastic in the center. It's hard to develop other players. We're trying to do that with Courtney Meyer already. She's played some in the center. As and a sophomore. As a sophomore, mm -hmm. correct. And, and they, they just need to um, look for spacing behind their midfielder or their forwards and in front of the defense. So they've got to cover both ends, and they've got to look.